Barry Cryer enjoyed the kind of longevity few could rival. He said, who are you? He said, council. He said, what are you doing? He said, your wife rang up and said the flat was infested with moths. His career on stage, screen and radio spanned naked. seven decades. I am an anarchist, don't know what I want, but I know how to get it. From theatre to stand-up and panel shows. It's not very funny, this answer. So uh, what else is I'll do that. <laughs> His presence, delivery and timing made him stand out. And they battled for this, our Joker's Wild Trophy, a model of life-size model, indeed, of Les Dawson at the weekend. But it was his writing which set him apart. Cryer crafted scripts for some of the best comics of all time, the likes of Tommy Cooper, Billy Connolly and the two Ronnies. Morning, madam. <laughs> morning. Nice morning. Yes, it's a nice morning, isn't it? <laughs> nice blue sky out there. <laughs> But quiet, mind you. Who's that nosy Parker peeping in? Clear off, clear off. <laughs> Many from within the same industry have paid tribute. Giles Brandreth said wherever Barry went, he brought laughter with him. He was generous about everyone, a great mentor and friend. While Sandy Toxvig said, I loved him beyond all measure. If there is an audience in heaven, Barry will be playing to it. Lucky them. And Stephen Fry described him as a glorious, gorgeous, hilarious and gifted writer and performer who straddled all the comic traditions, universally beloved. Barry Cryer joked that in his business you don't retire, the phone stops ringing. And in his case, the calls kept coming in his later years. So Barry, remind me again, the three names are? Bill, Harry and Ed. And their surnames? Grimes. <laughs> Do you know you've got my work? His achievements were recognised with an OBE in 2001, while he was given a Lifetime Achievement Award for comedy in 2018. His family say he died peacefully and that he leaves behind a life of fun, joy, love and silliness, a legacy they will be doing their best to maintain.